Hey guys, how are you today? So today is Tuesday as usual. We're having our educational day, guys. So I hope all is well with you guys. I have been great, been working on my businesses and things of that nature. So I've just been working, working, working. Um, and great things been happening and working in my favor. Uh, so that's where I've been. But I am here, guys. I'm excited to talk about the topic today, mom. But just a couple of um announcements. Remember that the like the whole product line will be back available April 1st, guys. April 1st, labels, everything, everything new. So I'm excited. Everything is starting to roll in, working on labels, things of that nature. So I'm super excited about that. Number two, it's still some items still on the on the on the site. So if those things are still there, they'll still go out, but then it'll still be a revamp of other things that I have. So those things that I still have left, I'll probably just create a little discounted section of oh, you know you know, old brand or old labels um, and at a very discounted price and then everything else will go back to the regular price, okay? So that is available to you guys. I will be launching a new product. Um, it will be for individuals who deal with uh, razor bumps and um, yeah, just really deal with razor bumps or deal with hair bumps under their arms and things of that nature um, and really want to be able to get rid of them very, 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 very fast. So I have something that really works. It works amazing. Can it, I'm super excited to um, share that with you guys. Also, on top of that, remember, guys, we still have the Premier Membership Dating Service. Ah! So I'm excited. I have uh, four, well, five, yeah, five individuals are part of that, four women one male that's a part of the program already. Um, I have two that's already connected and talking to each other. I have other ladies who are just starting the program and which we're about to go out here and like get this dating life on. Um, and I have another one who's like killing Bumble right now. Baby is on it. Uh, she seems like her confidence just went up to the sky. Um, and she is out here uh, talking to people and getting to know people. So guys, my biggest thing about the dating service is for you guys to understand that it's not no guarantee that I'm going to find anybody. But one thing I am going to do is make sure you have fun and also know the do's and don'ts in this journey of dating because a lot of us don't know what we're doing, just the truth of the matter. We don't know what we're doing and we need support. And now you're going to get sound support from somebody who had the virus, also sound for support from somebody who cares about you, and also sound support from somebody who's not going to let you settle. So if that's something you want, men, women, um, it is only $35 a month and you'll get a 45-minute initial uh, session with your um, dating application that is required required and then after that it's 30 uh, 30 minutes um yeah it's 30 minutes check-ins and then after that i still reach out to you periodically throughout the month checking on you how things going how things like that and also we're also in a group which i'm excited because i'm about to plan our first girls day um in the group so make sure you get in sign up and i will reach out to you and get all the information to get you started all right so make sure you get that also overcoming shirts and masks are still available it is in my store now the overcomer store so you just go to my website and all of it's there guys if you are still struggling with your diagnosis, you're there because you need help. Make sure you book a session with me. If you're in Atlanta, come on, let's meet each other, okay? Let's meet each other, all right? So that is available to you guys, and courses are still available to you too. How uh, sex after, 72 hours after, and also how to disclose is all information below. So today we are talking about how to move on when he say you're great, or she say you're great, but I can't deal. I just had somebody literally uh, share this with me uh, last night, and it really hurt my heart to see her, and she probably won't watch this video, but it really did hurt my, hurt my heart to see that she met somebody great, somebody who literally empowered her, made her feel amazing, um, and things like that, but he could not get past uh, the fact that he possibly would get the virus and she leaves him, okay? So I'm going to use her scenario because this is why many men choose not to want to be with a woman most of the time. It's not because, oh, getting it. It's getting it and you leave them. And now they're stuck with something and then how they're going to move forward because they believe if I'm with you, if I accept this, I'm going to be with you. Um, But it's the fear of what if it doesn't work. So it just, I really want you guys to understand this. Everybody has a choice, but you also have to understand how, and I'm going to speak from a, a woman, from a woman's standpoint. Um, you have to understand that men, uh, biggest thing is that they want, they want to have security. If, if I'm going to accept you with something that I, that you can't get rid of and I get it, I want to know we're guaranteed to stay together. Now, guys, there's no guarantee ever in a relationship. 
It's just never. Because at the end of the day, the only time it's guaranteed that both of you guys are making a commitment within y'all sales and also commitment together to make the relationship work. And make sure the relationship is stable, number one. And also make sure the relationship is healthy before y'all even make that type of commitment. A lot of people try to make this heavy commitment with... Um, dealing with this herpes diagnosis uh, with the toxic relationship. It's already toxic. He already talked to you crazy. He already don't respect you. You already feel like you got to do too much to even get his attention and all those things like that. And then all you're trying to do is convince him to want to be with you because you want somebody to validate your acceptance, which that's nobody's job but yours. So you're struggling and accepting the relationship. Like, yeah, I won't leave you. No, I'm doing well. He is getting on your nerves. So, so many ladies I have now, I had another young lady in the group talking about, you know, how do I leave? I like, I can't accept myself. So I don't want to leave this toxic relationship. No, you set yourself up to be in a toxic relationship. Okay, I'm going to call you out. You set yourself up. Soon as you seen that he showed you those signs earlier, you stayed. You stayed because you couldn't accept yourself. Okay? So I wouldn't suggest you do that. But also, guys, we have to understand we cannot guarantee nobody nothing. Stop doing that. It's the worst thing you can do is say, oh, I can make sure you don't get it. You're lying. No, you cannot. Do not do that because you set yourself up. Let that person understand that herpes is something I can manage. It's nothing, something I can 100% control. So you have to understand that 100% control is your responsibility to accept. And if you can't do that, yes, I'm great. Yes, I'm amazing. And I'm okay with you not being with me. A lot of you guys get stuck up on a, oh, you finally, and I'm going to say this, and I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, but at the end of the day, a lot of y'all ain't never heard nobody tell you you're great. You never heard a man tell you you're amazing. You never have been valid. You know, you always seek out validation because you struggle with self-love. Been there, done that. I get it, y'all. But my whole thing, that's a why a lot of y'all take y'all disclosure so hard because you struggle with self-love. You struggle with knowing that you're the bomb and that you are amazing and you don't need nobody to tell you. <laughs> like It's nothing wrong. I'm like, thank you. Thank you very much. But at the end of the day, I don't need you to tell me that to validate the fact that you, oh, you're so great and you're all this of a woman, but you know, I just can't be with you. You know, that's a slap in the face, men, women. You know, that's a slap in the face to somebody to tell them they're so great and decide to walk away. Listen, nobody want to hear that crap. Okay, I'm going to keep it real. Nobody want to hear that. Stop patting people on the back. Walk away. There's nothing wrong with telling a person they're great. But at the end of the day, anybody in their mind believing if, if I'm just that good, then why you won't be with me? It doesn't make sense. So stop saying it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. If you don't want to be a person, you don't got to just keep cushioning them. Walk away and leave. Don't do all that. You make the situation worse. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. It makes the situation worse. It makes it harder for that person to move forward because they keep asking themselves, oh my God, now I wish I never had herpes. And I wish this, he was such a great dude or she was such a great chick. And, you know, I'm missing out. You ain't missing out on crap because at the end of the day, if you are so great, they would have moved past it. Period. But nobody has to. They don't have to. But my whole thing is we need to stop people at the door with all of that praise and they don't want to move forward. I really suggest you guys stop folks there. Like, yes, I don't even want to hear that. That sounds great. Have a good day. And they can say, oh, you being bitter. No, I'm trying to keep myself from being bitter. I'm going to keep myself from being mad. I'm going to keep myself from looking at myself and saying, wonder why he still couldn't get past it. No, I'm going to protect my feelings. I'm going to protect my mind. And I'm going to tell you, stop right there. That's not necessary. Just go. Stop people with all that extra patting on your back. I don't need a pat on the back. I don't need it. You're going to be with me or not. Period. <laughs> and that's it. And I really want us to get this real bold, protect your mind, protect your spirit mindset when it comes to relationships. Because people will cushion you. They don't need to do that because most of us, none of us really want to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't care the meanest people are mean because they've been hurt. <laughs> But I'm telling you, most people don't want to hurt your feelings, especially men. Men do not want to hurt women's feelings. So they try to cushion us and baby us and rock us. Listen, stop rocking us and leave because all that rocking is making it worse. And it's making it harder for the next dude because she's going to struggle to keep thinking why he didn't want me. And now the next one's going to probably say the same thing. If I'm so great, why you don't want me? Stop it. That's not necessary. Stop cushioning her. Stop babying her. Stop patting her on the back. Stop trying to make her feel good. You're really not doing it. You're really, 
<laughs> you're really making the situation worse. I'm just going to call it for it. You're making the situation worse. Ladies, guys, whoever, stop letting people do that to you. I don't need to hear that. I know I'm great. I don't need to hear it. Leave. Leave. <laughs> just leave. Stop allowing people to give you that. Oh, no, I don't need it. Goodbye. Go oh, look at that moisture, y'all. Look at that hand that's moisturized. Ah! Uh, but yes, leave. Just leave. And that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say about that. Ladies and gentlemen, please stop letting people do that to you. And also stop um, believing that you could have did something different. Your di not, diagnosis at this given time is not going anywhere. So with that being said, you can't stop trying to wish it away at this point. That person couldn't get past it. That's okay. Move on. Find another. And let me help you do that. Okay? Find another. Don't settle with somebody who can't get past your diagnosis. Because it's something about them that you got past. Some people just can't get past certain things. That's okay. Move on. Stop acting like we got a scarcity of men. Stop acting like we got a scarcity of women. Step outside your race if necessary. But we do not have a scarcity of anything here. Your mindset is scarce. That's your problem. Stop thinking like that. I don't think like that. Literally, I was just talking to somebody. Found out that he he wanted to be more physical than I wanted to be. As y'all know, I'm celibate. So I ain't giving up. No, 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 no. I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not giving up nothing, bro. Okay? Nothing. Um, But he was having a hard time telling me that. You know, he was having a hard time. I could tell he was really attracted to me. He he was feeling me. Clearly, when we went on a date, the energy was there. The vibe was there. Conversation was there. But he wanted to be physical. And I feel like physical is not required all the time. And I feel like if you feel like you got to add all that and you don't barely know me, you got an issue. You got problems. And I'm leaving. <laughs> so, I, you know, I approached him and I asked him, like, you know, in a very subtle way. Um, what's going on? Like, I want to see you and stuff like that. He's like, man, I really got to be honest with you. I was expecting something more physical and I know you're not really on that. I'm like, no, I'm not, you know, keeping it real. I said, thank you for telling me, but you can go. You can go. And we will FaceTime and I told him, you can go. You good. Have a good day. You can go. He's like, oh, okay, well, I'll call you back. You ain't gonna call me back. Stop lying. I hate when dudes do that. Stop lying. You're not calling back. I already deleted all your stuff on my phone. <laughs> I already unfollowed you on on your Instagram. I'm good. Bye bye. I love you. Bye bye. On to the next one. I'm like, oh, I get excited. Like, ah, I did it. Settle. Ah, I did it. Settle. Ah, I didn't settle because my value is high, and I'm gonna wait. And whoever gonna be with me gonna wait because I'm worth all of it. Period. Period. And yes, he did know my status. I told him. And he still wanted to get the cookie. He wanted it. And I was like, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Uh, he was trying to move too fast for me. Because I'm like, dude, you just met me. You talking about being physical, bro? You don't even know if you ever, you had herpes. And I was like, you do, you moving too fast. He had some issues. I feel like he wasn't over his last relationship. But, yes, guys, so I love you guys. I hope this video really, like, resonate with you guys. I hope it hits you in your spirit, hits you in your heart, hits you in your gut. I hope it hits you, gets you, and you get it. And I want you to share this with somebody who have their diagnosis and they still, you know, that girlfriend or you know, that girl in a group or they know that dude who just cannot like, man, man, she said I was good, bro. Why she couldn't be with me? Or man, girl, he told me I was so awesome. Then why he don't want to be with me? Send this to her because send this to him because they need to get some real in their hearts for them to understand. Just don't do that with people. Stop letting people cushion you. I'm... You can stop. Stop people at their door with that crap. Stop them. It's not good for your mental. All right? So I love you guys. Y'all know where to find me. Um, April 1st, hitting hard. We're about to get back into... Um, we're about to get back in vlogging. So I'm excited because I got to look into buying my camera today. Like That camera may not be here by then. But at the end, I'm still going to do vlogs. So I'm super excited. So you guys do not want to miss it. I got so much more to share now, like, uh, and things like that. So y'all be able to see my vlogs and things. And I will see you guys on uh, April 1st. All right. I'll see y'all.